Good morning, everybody. It's Bishop Deb. I'm coming to you from Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, where it is the opposite of Monday. It's cold, it's blustery, it's gray, it's snowing, it's damp, it's November. This is a real November day here. Temperature is hovering around the freezing mark, and it's just a day when you want to go back to bed. Um, very hard getting out of bed today. So I I'm just out and about for a bit. Got lots on the agenda to do. (coughs) Still getting through this bug. Seems like I've had this bug for a month. But um, that's kind of typical, apparently. It just hangs on. So I'm taking my vitamins, sleeping more, and uh, talking to lots of people who are down with something. It's at that kind of time of the year. So I hope you are well. There are not too many days left in this year. I went to get my appointment to get my snow tires on. They can't take me till like the first week of December, which really is like two weeks away. It sounds December, but no, we're there. We're almost to the end of November. And I'm thinking, you know, we're going to be seeing old Lang Syne before we know it when you look back sometimes, yeah, we're so busy moving (coughs) forward sometimes we forget to look back and reflect on the year answered prayers good things that have happened unexpected things that have happened in your lives for the good and the challenges that we've encountered it's um, not a bad exercise to kind of look at the year behind us and make some plans for the year ahead. I know that uh, for many of us, it's it's a bittersweet kind of time because, you know, we begin the new year and we have all these plans and dreams and goals. And then the next thing you know, it's November and we haven't really moved forward on a lot of them. At least I haven't. Things that I've thought were going to be front burnered due to various reasons haven't happened yet. It doesn't mean they're not going to happen. It just means that it's a matter of time. And that's a lot of what life is. It's, you know, waiting. It's um, getting our plans together and sometimes just taking baby steps because the time isn't right. Mm. And we have to trust that the time isn't right sometimes. So when we when we start our new year, we make our resolutions. You know, I'm going to lose 25 pounds this year. And we come to this point in the year and guess what? We're still trying to lose those 25 pounds. We can't beat ourselves up. We've got to look at the whole picture. How difficult the year has been. How challenging things have come along. And pat ourselves on the back for the good things. You know, a lot of things have been accomplished. And when you get a sense of that and a holistic look at the year, then we can feel better and make plans for next year. You know, plans are just, dreams and goals are just that, right? Nobody's going to put us in front of a firing squad if we don't achieve what we had hoped. It's all fullness of time. We have to be gentle with ourselves and be patient with ourselves. So it might be a good time to sit down with your journal and just look at the year past. Just look at the the ways in which things have come about. And, you know, you can explore the reasons around that. But focus on the good. Don't self-criticize. Enough people do that. Just look at the good things that you've accomplished. Make a list. You know, your top ten great things about 2018 list. See how that works for you. So, let's have a prayer to get us going on this day. <laughs> I'm going to fuel it with a lot of coffee, i got to tell you. And my stomach is growling. So, I am going to um, lead us in a prayer and then say goodbye. And, you know, good days, bad days. Somebody says, as long as I'm on this side of the grass, I'm good. And sometimes days are like that. Let's pray gracious God, we give you thanks for this day 
and all the good it will bring into our lives. Make us aware of the blessings <coughs> of your interventions, of the ways in which you are breaking into our world. So many good things are around us and waiting for us. Give us eyes to see them today. Help us to be a blessing as we, even as we recognize the blessings around us. Help us to reach out to someone in need. Help us to be mindful of, of the um, situations of other people. And in our way, as we can, help us to do something about that. We pray for all the troubled places on the planet. We, play, we pray for the wildfires, that there would be an end to them in California, that people who have been displaced will be well cared for. The trauma of all that is, is weighing heavy on the world. We pray for abundance for all, that everyone would have food enough, shelter love, caring people surrounding them, assistance where it's needed. In every town, in every city, in every community, in every province or state or country, every single one of the seven plus billion people on this planet, may today they be given grace. May today they know love, a warm place to be out of the cold, or a cold place to be out of the heat, and food for the day. We ask that you give us this day our daily bread, and every day. Gracious God, you love us as your children. May we know your loving hand reaching through the world today, setting things right, offering help, and especially filling us with your light and love. In all this in your holy name we pray, amen. Well, thank you everyone for listening to the podcast. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Be safe. I'll talk to you soon. God bless.